working here about three years ago. This, is, this job turned out to be so much nicer than I expected. I went to my office for a start, it was gorgeous. And I get to talk to people from all over the world. Uh, one of the most rewarding parts of this is when people come in here and they're not actually interested in butterflies. I then you tell them a little bit about them and about their life cycles and they land on you all over the place and um, you just start to get quite excited because it's, it's, it's a little bit involved here. We actually breed all of our butterflies right here on the premises. We are fairly unique in the world for that. Uh, we're totally self-sufficient. We keep an average of around about 2,000 butterflies in here at any given time, but it does take a lot of teamwork to get that happening. Breeding butterflies is tricky. In nature, only about 1% of them will actually make it. Okay, now, this is the male Cairns birdwing. He's actually my favourite. He's the flashiest of all the butterflies, but there's a really good reason why he's so gorgeous. All the flight that you're seeing in the aviary at any given time is basically courtship. This is why he's got to be spectacularly coloured. Um, he's basically got to get the girl. And it's really tricky for him because generally butterflies only mate once in their lifetime. So it's got to be gorgeous just to get her attention. Yeah, it's one of the perks of the job. You get things all over you all the time. Uh, <laughs> now, some of the highlights of the job itself are when you get your timing right. Accidentally, you see a birdwing emerging from its pupa case, which is, I mean, it is the largest butterfly, but it's quite spectacular. Um, we've got the common egg fly here. Yeah, again, a bit of courtship going on. He's trying to convince her that he's the best smelling boy that she's ever come across. That's what's happening when they're flapping around. She's clearly not interested, she's letting go, but um, anyway, <laughs> pretty sweet. My mother's from Malaysia, and as a small child, I spent a few years in Malaysia and Indonesia. Love the tropics, that's what works for me best. If it gets below 17 degrees, I'm wearing everything I own. So, <laughs> I like the temperature, but the beautiful thing about Cairns is you have this tropical lifestyle with the Western culture, which suits me. 